The SAC Flight and Vehicle System by Sachan. A Unity Asset Prefab that you can use to create your own flight world in VR chat. Hello everyone, Jen Obvious with a SAC Flight Unity tutorial. And this one is on the SAC Flight version 1.63, how to install. The very first thing is the screen you're looking at is the unity.com website. This is the very first thing that you need to do to start this project. Go here and install the Unity Editor Windows version. So what you're going to need is a desktop, this Unity Editor, and a creative mind. So with that all in mind, we will install the Unity Editor. Click on that, install it, do what it says, and register it. So in the future, you can download assets from the Unity Asset Store. Once you are on the VRChat.com website and logged in, scroll down to Download. Click on the Download button. You will then see this screen. Creator Companion is what you'll need to import and install in order to create a VR chat world. So you will need to click on the download the creator companion. This will install everything you need to create your first world. After you have installed creator companion to your computer you may see an icon like this on your desktop. But before clicking on it please make a folder that you want your world project to be stored in. I've already created one here on the desktop and named it SacFlight 1.63. So please do this before you click on that. Alright, we're going to click on Creator Companion. And once the Creator Companion window is open, you may see an update button right down here. If you do, please click on it and update it to the fullest. Okay, now we're going to create a new project. Once this is open, create a world with Udon Sharp. But before clicking on this, go down here to the project name. Name it. We're going to name it Sack Flight 1.63. So we can test the new version. The project lo location, you will need to find it where you created it on the desktop. So we just went to the desktop, clicked on the SACFlight 1.6 folder that we had created back over here, and we're going to select that folder. Okay, so we have our location where we want all our files to be stored in. We have our project name, that's the name of our world. The next thing you want to do is click on World Project with Udon Sharp. And you will see a Create Project button down here create project. So once you have all those updated to the latest version, you may see an update over here or an arrow. Click on that. It will automatically update it. Hit the back button and you'll see it here. Also, when you open Creator Companion in the future, what I always do, click on Manage Project and you may see an update for these very important assets that you need in for your project. So make sure they're fully updated. Then you can go ahead and open the project right up here. Click on Open Project. Now it may take a few moments because it has to take all the packages, put it into Unity uh, 2019.431F, and compile it with all Udon Sharp. So it may take a few minutes depending on what kind of comp desktop computer you have. Okay, so we've imported all the VR chat packages that we need for our project. The next thing to do is, oh, we've got a blank screen here, okay. Let's go down to the folder list. Click on packages. Go all the way down to VR chat SDK worlds. Click on samples. Boot on example. Prefabs and you will see a VRC world cube here. Click, drag it up to your hierarchy. Go ahead and reset 
So all your XYZ points are zero. Your main camera, <clears throat> you're going to drag it to your reference camera. Right there for the game object. Okay, so now we are all set up. Let's go ahead and click play. Make sure there's no errors. There shouldn't be, we have a blank screen. Except, and now we're using the client simulator so we can go into our world in our Unity editor. Let's exit that. Okay, the next thing you want to do is go up to the VRChat SDK. Click on Show Control Panel. Now in here, there'll be a blank username and password. Put in the same username and password you use on the VRChat.com website. If you're allowed to publish, if you've met all the requirements, it will, it will put a security thing on here and it will send an email to you with a code. Once you get that email, put the code in here to verify that you're able to or authorized to log in to this account. Uh, and then once that is done, it will say allowed. You can click on Builder. Once you do that, it'll be unpublished VR chat world. Okay, so you're all signed in. The next, this is all set up. You don't have to do anything else right now until you publish the world. All right, so we're gonna close this out. And the next thing to do is load install the Sacklight version 1.63. All right, we've made it to Sachan's website, the GitHub website that has the flight and vehicle package. Over here, releases, medium update, 1.63. Click on latest. It'll bring you to this page. Go down to Sack Flight and Vehicle Zip. Click on that. Choose Open. Okay, it's going to open a window like this. Right click. Copy this folder, which has all the stuff you need. Go ahead and close that out. You can go ahead and minimize all this stuff. Minimize that. Find the folder where you, what you created your, your world in. And click on the sack flight, and you're going to click on assets. This is where all your assets, prefabs, all that stuff is stored. In your project, click on paste. And it's going to start copying all the sack flight vehicle system into your Unity project. It will already be in there, and I'll show you what that looks like once it is done installing. Now, it's installed in there. But once you click on this, it'll start installing it itself to the editor, okay? So you can see it down here, it is doing it. It kind of freezes uh, when it's doing that. Just give it some time and it should pop up, okay? Yeah, it's still working on it, it's compiling the scripts. And yep, it's still in there. Oh, looks like it got it in there. All right, that was pretty quick. Very nice. All right, so we have got the sack flight and vehicle package into our project. Now the VRC world, this is our spawning point. So what we're going to do first before we do any of the sack flight stuff, let's go ahead and press play. Make sure there's no compile errors. Everything is clean and we can spawn in, no issues. Good. All right, we're gonna exit play mode. So we have the system in here and it does kind of a final check there. All right, so here we go. We've got all the uh, folders that contains the uh, vehicles, the aircraft. Uh, there are prefabs, click on the prefabs. And on this version, 1.63, um, was added the wasp biplane and the grappling hook. And a lot of other good uh, sync issues uh, that was added, so it really runs smoothly. So these are the prefabs here. You've got the AA gun, which is the turret. All right, so the wasp. We're going to go ahead, and we have nothing to put anything on right now. So you can either make a plane, terrain, whatever you want. Put this into your scene. We're doing a new project here. So let's go ahead and see if we can find the prefab scene and we'll go ahead and put that in so it'll have all the vehicles you can test it out all that stuff so let's go ahead right here in the main folder you'll see sack flight click and drag that 
into your scene. Now the scene that Sachan created with all the vehicles to test out are in here. And you can alter the world um, however you want it. Now you can, like I said, just make a plain terrain and you can drop individual vehicles into your scene. That's up to you. Uh, once you put this in here though, see how you've got two scenes? You can't have two scenes in one world. So you're gonna have to delete this one, remove scene. Do you want to save changes made in this scene? No. All right, so now we are in Sachan's prefab version. And go over to VRC World. Let's close this window out. Uh, check down here to make sure this blueprint ID is empty. If there is one in here, delete it, because that would be Sachan's ID from his prefab. So it looks like with this new version, it's not showing up, so you should be fine. Okay. The camera is the ref cam. That's your main camera right now. You can leave it like it is. You can, you know, turn it into, uh, make it, say, main camera and turn it on. Whatever you want to do. Um, but this scene is a chance is set up this way. If you go to VRC World, you can see the reference cam is the same as the other world that we created earlier. All right, so let's go ahead and play, make sure there's no errors, and let's check it out. Yeah, that, that display camera rendering will go away if you did what I explained earlier. Um, and I'll go over that again once we get out. But this is the prefab here. And as you can tell, we, you can fly around just like in test pilots. I will also show you how to put the SAC system in here without dropping everything into your world. So let's go ahead and exit this. And let's see what we're going to do on the ref cam. Let's go ahead and make that main cam. Change this. Okay, that's already done for us. Great. Awesome. Now you can have a camera preview down here in the window. And this is good to do because if you want to make a thumbnail, you're going to need this. So I would switch it. Uh, my opinion, it's up to you guys. If you want just the avatar flight in your world and not all this or not any vehicles or whatever, go to the SAC Flock and Vehicle folder, Prefabs, click on Accessories, and in here you'll see the SAC Flight Ball. You can simply click and drag that into your scene and then disable the mesh render. That way you don't see it, run into it, there's no colliders on it, but you can fly around like you can in test pilots. Easy, easy. All right, so that is how to set up the SAC Flight version 1.63, newly released uh, about a week, week ago, or a few days ago, actually, and pretty early. Um, great job, great, uh, and I'm still playing around with it. So got some more future videos coming soon. How to put the SAC Flight system into a car and boat going to be neat. Uh, those videos are coming soon along with more. So I appreciate y'all watching and thank you. We'll see you in VR chat.